the biggest story of today is Final Fantasy VII Remake. So I'm going to read you guys this. I want you guys to take it in, you know, take it all in at once. And you're just going to see how stupid this guy is. So this is what he said. He says, wow, did that Final Fantasy VII Remake demo actually send my interest plummeting? I have basically zero idea how to play that first boss fight. A million interlocking systems all thrown at you at once. Mr. Chris Kohler, okay? So from what I've read, guys, they said that this man works for Kotaku. He's a gaming journalist who plays video games, and he's struggling with a Final Fantasy VII demo. Bro, this is not Dark Souls, man. What is there to do? Block heal okay you block you send baby girl tifa out to take the hits you use Arif to heal everybody there you go i mean the fact that this guy is having such a hard time playing Final fantasy 7 it literally blows my mind i don't even know what to say guys let's read some of these comments okay so this is his advice he says make sure to attack and respect and most importantly protect and attack okay make sure to attack but also heal like donald but also you can heal but also use magic but also you can't use magic but also make sure to stagger the enemy but also he has a barrier but also hide behind his debris but also how about this chris but also can you get some goddamn skill okay mr chris can you also get good mr chris can you also get better at final fantasy this guy is struggling on a demo of FF7. I have not seen not one person on this godforsaken sea virus filled extinction planet. I have not seen no person complain about the demo's difficulty except this clown, Chris Kohler. Now, knowing if he's from Kotaku, he's probably doing this for clout. He's probably doing this to piss people off. That's what, that's what Kotaku apparently likes to do, but... I don't know if he's trolling, but if he is trolling, I don't I don't know. It's not funny. It's not funny. So many people had comments on this. They talked about this. And this guy, Darth Sia. Oh, is that Darth Sia? Is that Sia from Hyrule Warriors? Guys, you see that you see that image of Sia? I don't know if y'all played Hyrule Warriors. I love that game to death, man. I like a hundred percent like the Master Quest section. Land the uh the 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 uh the, the uh what is those maps? Those bonus maps. Anyway, Sia is thick. And for some reason, Nintendo and KOE, they made Sia. She's a Zelda character in a friendly Zelda game, but Baby Girl has no bra. Like, she is... I don't even know how Nintendo let that fly, bro. I'm not even putting the image up. But if you guys play Hyrule Warriors, then you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so Darth Sia says... The answer is because you work at Kotaku, okay? See ya for Smash Bros, all right? I want see ya in Smash. No Lana. So, this dude is straight garbage, bro. I just... Oh, check this out, guys. Check this out. This is... Check this out. Look at this, man. This is a Kotaku editor in his review of... I believe it was... um. Oh, my God. What a cup, a cuphead... In his review of Cuphead, my boy couldn't even beat the tutorial, bro. He couldn't even beat the tutorial. These are modern-day gaming journalists. They can't beat demos. They can't beat tutorials. All they want to do is push woke content and everyone's and everyone's equal and whatever the case is, man. Some annoying SJW stuff. But not that I'm anti-SW, I'm just saying, it just gets annoying after a while, but this is, this is a gaming, a gamer who can't get past a goddamn demo.